execution. Cause I don't know where I'm going, but I'm learning as I'm growing. That's the evolution. Evolution, evolution. Hope I don't finish last. I'm still healing from my past. I need some retribution. Did a lot of getting even, but I'm sick and tired of beefing. What's the resolution? Resolution, resolution. I'm talking evolution, evolution. What's up, y'all? Thank y'all for tuning in. Chilling with me, WMT. Got a little session for you today. A little flashback session, story time, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but I'm basically going to be explaining why I have dreadlocks. Okay. Um, I've I've had dreadlocks for seven years. I've had dreadlocks. Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into actually why I got it. So I decided to get dreadlocks because anybody that know me, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I mean, I went to school, my hair was all fucked up. I didn't give a fuck. Just brushed it, combed it. Maybe put some moisturizer on that shit, put it in a bun. Whatever. Um, especially if I ain't had my hair done like no braids or nothing. I didn't care about that. I didn't care. My grandfather. My grandma would be like, you, you go to school like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I did not care. I did not care. When I had a bad hair day, I mean, my hair was bad all day. But when I had a bad hair day, you know, I got tired of getting it done every day. As females, like men, you literally go get your hair done and it literally takes you five, maybe ten minutes. If you're getting a real good haircut with the design, maybe maybe more. I just think, I know for a fact you ain't in there for no hour or more. I know that for a fact. They don't even have niggas in there that wash your damn hair. You, you, I mean, you just go already wash. I mean, I mean, I understand it. But we, we just pay that extra money, get our hair washed, might as well. Shit, we here. Y'all go there, you get your cut. You in there for like five, ten minutes, and then you out, right? Us. What? When we go in there, we might have to wait a line. You know? In there fucking 30 minutes before you even get seen, maybe. You know? Yeah. And we don't even count that. We still in there for longer than an hour. We got the, the hair wash. We got the drying. You know? The drying always takes about an hour. Well, when you... We'll get into that too, but when you had the hair out, like y'all hair, if you don't have gel locks, probably took maybe four to five minutes to dry your hair, okay? Especially if you got the good, if you got the thick hair, you know? It's going to take about four to five minutes to dry your hair, okay? That's after it's washed, or or it's say if you get a perm, you got to wait for the perm to set in, you know? You just, you just got to sit there, basically. You know what I'm talking about. So you sit there, and you freaking do that. You do the hair wash, just dry, and then you got time to get your hair styled. Now, while you're getting your hair styled, it's probably 30 minutes to get your hair styled just off rip. Even if you got short hair, people don't even understand. People with short hair, even when they go to the hairdresser, the only thing that's fast is your drying time. Like if they really like if they really good get your got them curls going, what? You still sit there about thirty minutes. Even if your hair is tight, like a little short to your head where you got the little teeny little hot thing where they stick. Y'all know. Then when you stick in that thing, the little hot thing, like the pick the curl. I ain't caring. I wasn't doing all that. Okay. I wasn't I wasn't gonna wait there for that long. I I so what I did what I did, ooh, whatever. What I did, <laughs> I would do it myself. I would wash my hair every week. So I used to do my hair two weeks. Yeah, we wash our hair two weeks. But then I went there every week. I was doing my hair every week. So maybe the first day or whatever, do a little something to it. But by that third day, I did not care. Same thing about when you get your hair done. You're only going to put the bonnet on your head for the first three, maybe four days. If you're really good, you're going to last a week and maybe that's it. But then some people, they they love it. They, they be, you know, on it. No, no. Not me, not I. That's why I went to school like that. That's why you see me like that. 
But anyway, so I just did my hair every week. But then I had my cousin. She was doing my hair every single week, too, when I switched it up. And I was just getting plaques for a long time. I was getting plaques for, for a while. And I was like, you know what? I think I want to just skip this, you know. You know, and then I said no. So then I went to this 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 place, and I met this girl. Dope as hell, funny as fuck. You know, you meet everybody. You go to camp. Yeah, that's what it was. I went to camp. You meet everybody there. They dope as fuck. You meet people everywhere, or whatever. And it's it's cool when you always meet people from everywhere. You know, um. She was dope as shit, and she had locks. Now, the only person I know with dreadlocks as a female is is Lauren Hill. But actually, know and seen somebody with dreadlocks was was her. Oh, and this one lady too, this one older woman. But she was older. She had uh, two people. She's old. They older. I never I never seen a young young person with locks, and her locks was dope to me. Dope. As heck, she had some dope locks, and um, I was telling her about it because I had plans at this. I think I, yeah, I still had plans at the time. And when I went to this camp, met her, what I was telling her about thinking about dreading my hair, she was like, Oh, yeah, do it, absolutely, do that. And she had them, like, right here. And she would style them different ways. Like, it was cool. And um, she said, do it. But when I went home, I said, yo, can you, can you lock my shit? Can you lock my shit? That's the shit that I ever made. But also, really, to me, it's, it's deeper than that, too. If you, if you know the Bible... Or even heard of someone in the Bible called um, Samson. He was one with the locks. And he didn't cut his hair. He didn't cut his hair because, you know, it represent, represented strength. You know, that's how he was strong. That's how, you know. So when, I don't know. With the locks, like. Yeah, it's cool. Like, you can get up. This is also great, too, because you can wake up in the morning, just put some oil sheen in your hair or whatever, or, or whatever. I don't put too... The only product I put in my hair is oil sheen. That's the only product I put in my hair. And y'all probably like, damn, she don't never have her hair done. And you know why? This is... Locks is locks is locks, okay? You can do a lot of things with locks. You can you can you can do a lot of things with locks. And to me, honestly, when I have new growth is when I feel like my my locks look the best. They look the best. Of course they look great when you when you style it or whatever. But I feel like with new growth people it looks more like natural, like it feels up I like it more like that, but of course, you can wake up, put oil sheen on it, go about your day. You know, when you wake up with the regular hair, you got you got to put the shit in there. You can grease your scalp or whatever. You got you got to curl your hair. You know, you just got a lot to do. Nobody, especially if you're a person that wake up when the alarm go off, so you know you got to stick to it, get a shower, do this, do that, and bounce. Like if you that type of person, then locks is for you. Because it literally takes 30 seconds, 10, not even, to spray some shit in your hair and rub it in there. You know what I'm saying? And then just go about your day. Your hair is done. What? That's it? Yes, girl. You wake up and hit you and, and you're done. You're done. That is why I got dreadlocks. To sum it all up. Um... If you have dreadlocks, what made you decide to dread your hair? Why do you why do you have dreadlocks? If you don't have dreadlocks, are you interested in having dreadlocks or have you thought of getting yourself? That's the same thing, ain't it? Mm. <laughs> but if you don't have dreadlocks and you've thought about getting dreadlocks or interested in it, what made you what 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 
told you to that would put you to doing it. To me, dreadlocks are dope. Um, especially when you find out people's different reasoning for really getting it. Like, it, it, they're dope. Why not? Why not get some locks? Um, but if you're interested, let me know. Um, if if you've got dreadlocks and you actually cut them off because dreadlocks to me, nobody tells you, but dreadlocks get heavy, man. They they heavy with some water on it. Go go swimming with some long. Even the sh even when they shoot, they who what hey yo. Shit. What? <laughs> what? When you wash your hair in the shower, your hair going. I'm telling you the whole time. Yeah, everybody be like, hang time, hang time. Yeah, it be hype and all. But when that thing is hanging, your neck don't have a lot of time. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. That's why I have dreadlocks. Thank you guys for tuning in and chilling with me and uh, checking out this story. Thank y'all for also being um, patient with me because, like I said, I was out a little bit. I wasn't posting no videos, and I apologize. Ariana Grande, I have that reaction up with Megan Thee Stallion and uh, Doja Cat, 35, 30, sorry, 34, 35. And then I also have the video of where I, my dog actually got attacked. So thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll catch y'all on the next one.